Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna to talk about the 85 millimeter F1.8 lens from Nikon and why I think an 85 millimeter might be the perfect portrait lens. So I rented this lens for a couple of days from our friends at Lumoid. Uh, they're not sponsoring this video, but I did rent this from them and I got a chance to really play with this and see what this could do because like many of you, I'm deciding on what I want to upgrade in my camera system. Do I want to get an 85 millimeter lens? Do I want to make the investment in a 24 to 70? Do I want to go with something else like maybe a 17 to 55 f2.8? I thought about it and when I'm doing video and photography, there are a lot of points where I'm actually doing stuff that's more portraiture based, stuff that's headshots, stuff that's talking head. So I thought about it and this might actually be the perfect lens. The expense is not too much if you get the f1.8. From Nikon, it's about 400. Uh, they're not that much more expensive in the other camera systems. Overall, the advantages of the 85 millimeter are the focal length and its ability to isolate subjects. With this focal length, you're getting much less distortion. You're getting the ability to creatively just crop exactly what you need. And in terms of isolating the subject for the background, because of the way it handles the compression of the background, it's actually really nice. This is perfect for an indie filmmaker that wants to get those tight in shots. And this could be a great for a second lens as far as on a second camera body, shooting another angle for the tight in shot. Uh, so if you're a cinematographer, you're an indie filmmaker, that could be great for you. Me personally, I'm a guy who does like the running gun. So I don't really need zoom lenses nearly as much sometimes because I love that an F1.8 prime can handle low light situations and then in the case of the 85 millimeter, I'm getting that compression for the background, I'm getting the lack of distortion, which makes faces just look much more attractive, and at f1.8, I can handle low light situations and indoor shooting. So for me, for doing video and photography, this is an ideal camera lens. I mean, I'm mostly going to conventions that are in like hotels, or I'm going to events that are in auditoriums, so for me, this lens fits most of the situations that I'm shooting in. Now it's also great for outdoor because you can get great candid street shots and you don't intimidate your subjects that way because of that 85 millimeter focal length. You get actually a little more out of it when you're on a crop body like the Nikon D3200 or the D3100 or anything like that. So this could be ideal for those situations as well. And you're not limited to just doing portraiture. You can do great street photography with this. For those of you who are doing something like New York Fashion Week, this is really a cool lens for you. Now don't get me wrong, I love my 35 millimeter, the 50 millimeter is great too, the nifty 50, and I did enjoy shooting on the 24 to 70 when I borrowed it from my friend Daniel. But I do feel like the 85 millimeter is the sweet spot if you're going to be doing portraiture. I mean, you don't get the zoom capability, sure, but I do feel that with how light this is by comparison to the 24 to 70, that you got some really interesting options there because moving around isn't nearly as difficult when you've got a lot less weight, when it's not nearly as front heavy. So I do like that aspect of it. Overall, I think I still will be investing in the 24 to 70, but if I was going to get something right away though, because of the low cost, this only being under $500, it's the portrait lens that I would get. So those are the reasons that I think that the 85 millimeter uh, is the perfect focal length in terms of a portrait camera. And if you're shooting on Canon, I do know that they have these in uh, f1.2 and f1.4. Nikon also has a much more expensive uh, f1.4 as well if you feel like you need that extra um, little bit there. And this one is just as sharp, so that's really not the variable here. The build quality on the f1.4 from Nikon is a little bit more solid and there is a chance that I'll be reviewing that here on the channel so make sure you're subscribed and you're staying tuned for that. I'll have a full review on the 85mm f1.8 as well as some other videos that will accompany it so I hope you guys will tune in for those and watch them in the playlist. 
If you still have questions about what lenses to buy, I do have some other reviews here on the channel, so you should definitely check those out. But you could also leave me your questions in the comment section below. I'll try and answer as many of them as I can for you and help you make a good buying decision. If you want to try this or any other lenses that I mentioned, you can rent them from Lumoid. There is an info card up here and a link in the description for you. Uh, remember, they're not a sponsor of this particular video, but they are someone that I use for renting my camera lenses and bodies. Or if you want to buy any of these lenses outright, you can go ahead and get them from Amazon using my affiliate link in the description. That helps you out, also helps me and the channel out. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.